Members of the Campbell County Honor Guard will collectively be honored tonight at the 6th Annual Campbell County Good Scout Award Dinner. The event is scheduled for 6 p.m. at the Ball Farm and Event Center just east of the La Follette City Limits. Special guest speaker is 3rd District Congressman Chuck Fleischerman. More than 150 people are expected to attend. Not only is the dinner a fundraiser for the Boy Scouts, but it is also a chance to honor a person or organization that has made a difference in Campbell County. People's Bank of the South is corporate sponsor of the event. Each year, the Honor Guard provides military honors at funerals of active duty personnel, retirees, and veterans that have served honorably in the armed forces. The Honor Guard also provides support for patriotic ceremonies and parades. In 2012 alone, this group of volunteers performed 107 military burials. Previous recipients of the Good Scout Award were Edward Bailoff, the late Juanita Baird, retired U.S. Army Colonel and former County Executive, Tom Steiner, the five Baird brothers, and retired U.S. Army General Carl W. Steiner. For tickets to the dinner, contact Logan Hickman at the People's Bank of the South at 423-562-4921. Billy Russell with the Campbell County Mayor's Office tells WLAF that there have been several threatening emails coming in since the release of a video of the Adrian Baird Animal Shelter. Russell says the phones have rang off the hook and the emails are being taken seriously and when they find out who posted the video they will be prosecuted. Russell goes on to say the shelter was recently inspected and the report was good. Recently there have been several volunteers which are working at the shelter along with help from the Friends of Animals of Campbell County and lots of improvements have been made. Russell says the email threats have come in from several places including Canada. In a release, County Mayor William Baird says anyone with concerns may visit the Adrian W. Baird Animal Shelter. Matex Corporation is filling a few positions. According to Production Control Manager Jerry Starrett, the Matex plant located in Caraville, just off exit 141, is in the process of interviewing some applicants. Matex is a Japan-based corporation and the Caraville plant has operated in Caraville since 2001. Starrett says the plant has opened a third line of operations and with the addition of the third line, along with workers who have moved away or left for other reasons, there are a few additional positions available and they will probably hire at least six or seven new people to fill these positions. If you're interested in applying, the plant is located in the Urschel Collins Industrial Park off Interstate 75 at exit 141. The daughter of longtime WLAF General Manager Elmer Longmire has died. Vicki Longmire Cheek of Knoxville passed away Tuesday. Cheek's father, Elmer, who died in 1980, was station manager in the 1960s and 70s. Her complete obituary is found on her website on the obituary link. Vicki Longmire Cheek was 64 years old. The Town of Jacksboro Council meets tonight at 7. WLAF Dwayne Wilder has the story for you first thing tomorrow morning right here. And the Campbell County Cougars scattered seven hits and overcame three errors to outpace Powell Wednesday at Brown Archer Field. Campbell County scored a run in each of the first two innings, then two in the fourth and one run in the fifth. The Panthers managed a couple of second inning runs, but it wasn't enough. Campbell wins 5-2. to two. Today's game with Carter is rained out, as you might have guessed. 
And that's a look at the news. Back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. Nine people have been booked in to the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours, according to the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Brenda Sue Ford, age 42, of Tonesta Drive in Jacksboro, was picked up and held for another agency. 31-year-old Benjamin Faust of Lake Brook Lane La Folly for domestic assault. Curtis Edward Marlowe, 48, of Duff, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. 18-year-old Michael Allen Matlock of Tennessee Hollow Lane in Bryceville for operating an off-vehicle road on the highway, reckless driving, and felony evading arrest. 38-year-old Jennifer Renee Mead of Linden Circle La Folly for pond or conveyed rental property. Jonathan Tyler Stanford, 18, of Old Long Hollow Road La Folly for vandalism over $10,000, two counts of burglary, criminal trespassing, and theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999. Tanner Isaac Stooksbury, 19 of high school for drug court. 18-year-old Dylan Stone Thompson of Ivydale Road in La Follette, two counts of vandalism and two counts of burglary, trespassing and theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999. And last today, Logan Tyler Thompson, 19, of Ivy Dale Road La Follette for vandalism and criminal trespassing. And that brings you up to date on what's happening around our town and county for today. Join us again tomorrow. We'll be back with the end of the week edition of the news. Sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe Josh with you on this Thursday with our birthday and anniversary club. And our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli, located in the Food Lion Shopping Center. Let's look at our birthdays here today. Hunter Lawson is celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Hunter. Kathy Parton is celebrating today. Happy birthday to Kathy. And Brad Myers has a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Brad. And looking back at yesterday's birthdays that we didn't get to, uh, Mr. Buddy Ayers turned 95 years old yesterday. Happy birthday to you, sir. Uh, Fuzz Mosier turned 39 years old. Hang in there, Fuzz. Happy birthday to you. Ann Thompson celebrated birthday. Happy birthday to Ann. And Bob Hall had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to Bob. And Bobby and uh, Jane Arrowwood celebrated their anniversary today. Happy anniversary to Jane and Bobby and Kathleen and Gurney Chadwell. 54 years of marriage. Happy anniversary to you all. And we hope all of you had a great day or are having a great day. Now, if you're celebrating your birthday or anniversary, we need to have your name on our list in here because that's the only way that you can qualify for the drawing that we have on Friday. So tomorrow we'll be drawing uh, for the birthday winner and the anniversary winner and you could win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. So get that name in here will ya? That's the only way you can qualify. Good night. We'll see you later.